Welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of June 2020. This month's topic is on various right-click functionality in the Business Partner Master Data, the Item Master Data, the Sales Order, and the Purchase Order. Let's get started. First, we will look at the Business Partner Master Data record. To view the right-click functionality, simply right-click in the background of the record. Our first option here is the Remove Business Partner option. We can use this option if we want to get rid of a business partner record. You cannot use this function if there are any documents tied to the business partner. Even though this customer does not have any open documents in the system, you still cannot remove the customer because they are linked to a closed sales order. This right-click function should really only be used if the customer was mistakenly added and has nothing to do with your database. The next function we can use is the duplicate function. Let's look at all the data for the current record we are on. You can see there is data populated for most of the tabs, ranging from the general tab, contact persons, addresses, payment terms, and remarks and attachments. If we click the duplicate option, the system will give us the option to copy or not copy over the contact person's information. Now you can see that the tabs from before are the same on this new record. So we can use this record as a starting point for a new record. This is especially useful if the business partner is already in your system as a vendor, but you want to add them as a customer too. You can change the code, change them to a customer, and then add them into the system. Now they can be used in the sales process as well. Next we have the special prices for business partners. If this business partner already has special prices assigned to them, clicking this option will open their existing record for easy access to make changes or additions. If the business partner does not have any special prices assigned, this option will open the special prices for them in ad mode, and you can easily begin setting up special prices for this business partner. We also have access to the business partner catalog numbers. Similar to the special prices for business partners, this window will appear in ad mode if there are not any catalog numbers assigned. If there are numbers, you can easily view the existing ones for quick changes or additions. Next, we can run the inventory posting list from the business partner. What's nice about this is the report automatically filters the results for the business partner that you ran this report off of. Another option is to run the Dunning History Report. Notice how the business partner code automatically populates in the report. You can then define other criteria to easily see the Dunning History for this business partner. Our final right-click option for the Business Partner Master Record is the Inventory Status Report. This report will show you all the items where this particular vendor is assigned as the preferred vendor on the Purchasing Data tab of the item. Let's look at the right-click functionality on the Item Master Data Record. Our first option is the Remove option. You cannot remove an item if it is linked to any transactions or documents. Another option is the Duplicate option. This option will duplicate all the information from the Item Master record to provide a starting point for adding a new record, so that we do not have to start from scratch. Next we have the New Activity option. The activity will automatically link the Item Master data record. You'll also notice that if there is a preferred vendor defined for the item, that will default into the new activity as well. The Business Partner Catalog Number window can be accessed from the Item Master record so that we can easily assign specific part numbers based on each vendor. If the item record already has some assigned, we can easily view this information and make changes to it. The Bill of Materials option allows us to add a Bill of Material record for the item if there is not already one. If there is already a Bill of Material record for the item, this right-click option allows us to view and make changes to this existing record. We can also define alternative items off of an item record or view existing alternative items, which could be useful to the sales team if a customer is interested in other options or if a particular item is temporarily unavailable. The Related Activities option will open the Activities Overview window, which will show all the activities where the item record is linked under the Link Document tab. The Inventory Posting list can be run from the item record. Notice that the current year will default in as the posting date range, and the report is only for the item we ran this off of. The inventory audit report can also be ran for the item. This is a quick way to view the transaction history for the item according to the value of the inventory transaction. 
The bin location content list can be ran for the item to see what bin locations the item is in and how much of that item is in those bins. To see the transaction documents behind a particular bin location for this particular item, you can select the bin and run the inventory posting list. The items list will run a report for the item so that you can see useful information on the item like the manufacturer and the different prices for the item based on each price list. If the item is managed by serials or batches, you can run the batch or serial number transactions report. In the top batches section, you can scroll through and select the particular batch for the item. And then in the bottom transactions for batch section, you can see the transaction information and the documents for that particular batch. The inventory status report can be run, and this will show a quick view of the in stock, committed, ordered, and available quantities for the item. You can double click on the item to view the documents that account for the status of this item in your inventory. This particular item shows the item has a committed quantity of two, and we can see this is because a quantity of two for this item is entered in a sales order for one of our customers. We can use the Create Purchase Quotation option to open the Purchase Quotation Generation Wizard for this item. We can enter the necessary information like the required date, quantity, valid until date, and then we can finish the steps and save our parameters or generate the purchase quotation. The purchase quotation comparison report can be run to help us identify the best vendor to purchase our items from. This makes for an easy view of each quotation for comparison purposes, and you'll notice the lowest price is bolded in red. The purchase request report can be run to help you see the total required quantity for an item based on all the approved purchase requests in the system. You can enter the appropriate vendor for each line, ensure the line is selected, and use the create function to automatically generate the needed purchase orders in the system. You can also use the available to promise option, which gives you a quick view of the quantity available in the system that you can promise to your customers. The last option for the item master record is the relationship map, which you can use to see the bill of material information, as well as alternative items assigned to the item. Now let's look at the right-click options for the sales and purchase order. We can look at our right-click options for both of these documents in tandem due to their similarity in nature. The first option is the cancel option. If a sales or purchase order has been added in error, has become invalid, or has no other open or closed target documents associated to it, you can cancel the document but still store it in the database. Canceling a sales or purchase order does not generate a separate cancellation document. It only changes the document status to cancel. Our next option is the close option. We can use this to manually close a sales or a purchase order. We can also use the duplicate option. This is useful if we want to add a new sales order or purchase order just like a previous one or to provide a starting point where we want to make small changes. The Row Details option can be used for each of the documents as well. This provides a much more detailed look at the information that's found on the documents. You can use the row number arrows at the top to change the specific row on the document that you're looking at the details for. We can also create new activities from the Sales and Purchase order. When we do this, the new activity will default in the Business Partner information as well as link the Purchase order or Sales order itself in the Link Documents tab. The Payment Means option will open the Deposit on Order window, allowing us to either receive payment or make a payment in advance for the order. For the Sales Order, we can use the Gross Profit option to view our document-specific Gross Profit calculation. The Volume and Weight calculation can be used for either document to view the volume and weight for each item based on the quantity on the document and the sizing data from the Item Master Records. The opening and closing remarks can be used for either document as well, which is useful for distinguishing between remarks at the opening and closing stages of the document. The Related Activities option can be used to view the Activities Overview Report for all activities where this purchase order or sales order is assigned in the Link Documents tab. The Related Down Payment Transactions can be used for either document, which shows you a report that lists all the down payments added for the sales or purchase order. Some additional right-click functionality is the Add Row, Delete Row, and Duplicate Row. These options can be used in various windows in the system. Thank you for joining this video edition of Learn with LBSI on right-click functionality. For sales-related inquiries, you can email us at sales at lbsi.com 
or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.